Hello friends, welcome to VLSI Academy. Today we'll learn about functions in Python. We will take one example of factorial calculation and we'll show you different ways of doing it. This will help you understand the different approaches to the same task. Also, it will help in understanding small concepts which are important. We are going to write a program for calculating the factorial of a number. The Python has inbuilt library called math which supports factorial function. The Python math library provides us access to some common math problems and constants in Python which we can use throughout our code for more complex mathematical computations. Math is one of the modules in the standard library or Python. Python libraries are a set of useful functions that eliminate the need of writing codes from scratch. There are over 1,37,000 Python libraries present today. Python libraries play a vital role in developing machine learning, data science, data visualization, image and data manipulation applications and more. Some commonly used Python libraries in data science are NumPy, Panda, Matplotlib, etc. You can also create your own library in Python. To import a library in Python, we use import function. So here we'll be importing math library. So now let's say we select n equals to 5, a number 5 for which we have to calculate factorial for. To uh, use the factorial function, we use math.factorial. In braces, we put the number n. Now, if we print this, we will get the output of this math.factorial function. Let's run this code. It's 120. Just to make this more readable, we can also print one line here that the factorial of the number is so and so. So this is one way of doing it using the math library. Now the second way of doing it is using for loop. So now let's define a variable called fact and uh, give it an initial value 1. We also define the number as n which we uh, give the input to calculate factorial for. Here let's say we'll calculate the factorial for 5. Now let's run the for loop uh, and iterate it over a variable i. So for i in range of 1 to n plus 1. So this loop will run from 1 till n plus 1 and what we'll do in the loop is we'll multiply the fact variable with the iterable i and store it in the fact variable. So the last result will be stored in our fact variable. No, now let's get outside of the loop and print the fact variable. So this fact variable should give us the output of the program. Now let's run the code. So it's 120. Just to improve the readability of the program, we can use the same statement that the factorial of the number is. Let's run this again. So here also we got the factorial of a number which we defined as 5 and we used for loop for this. One more method to calculate the factorial of a number is by using function. So a function is a block of code which only runs when it is called. You can pass data known as parameters into the function and a function can return data as a result. In Python, a function is defined using the DEF, DEF keyboard. To call a function, the function name is used followed by the parentheses. For our program here for factorial, we'll use recursive function. So recursive function is one which can call itself directly or indirectly. So let's write the program now. We define recursive uh, factorial of n. Now we will use if else statement inside uh, in this function to run this function. Now let's say if number was to be 1 
then what would be the factorial the factorial would have been one which is the number itself then uh, the program should return n now let's say if n was to be 0 so the program should return the factorial of 0 which is 1 so it will return 1 now let's say if we input a negative number that is n is less than 0 then the program should uh, say that uh, the number is negative so uh, basically can't calculate the factorial of negative now one case is where the number will be greater than 0 and needs to be calculated the factorial for. We can either write n is greater than 0 or only this is the condition left. So, we can also use else statement. To calculate the factorial under this else block, we will multiply n with the output of this function for the number less than n, 1 less than n which will be n minus 1 and it shall return this. Now we will print the output of the program. So the output in output we will call this very function and assign the value to n. So let's say we give n as 5. Now let's run this program and check for errors if any. There is no error and we have successfully got the factorial of 5 which is 120. If you found this today's video helpful, please do like, share and subscribe. Please comment your feedback and queries in the comment section. Thank you.